Hello everyone, my name is Akash Shah and I am Priyam Shah. We are the students of GD Gonka International School, Surat and we are, going to t- we are taking part in the ATL Marathon 2022-23. Uh, here we have a project which is aluminum air battery. So, uh, this is our innovative solution, innovative idea. So um, the materials required are some activated carbon, that's activated charcoal, uh, tissue paper, with uh, sprinkled water on it and salt we will require aluminum sheet or aluminum foil and a glass of water so to start with it first we have to take a tissue paper i have already made it wet then we have to sprinkle uh, sprinkle some salt and then finally some water droplets just make sure that it is not too much wet or not neither too much dry then we got to use these activated charcoal uh, make sure that normal charcoal is not used um, because this battery can be made reg- uh, made at home anyone can make it it's easy to make and it can replace all acid batteries and lithium ion batteries so it may taking this charcoal i'm going to wrap this with the uh, salted tissue paper and aluminum foil, uh, aluminum sheet or foil any either of them works right so i'm going to put this on to this and I'm going to wrap it. Right. So um, that's our aluminum air battery ready. In this uh, in this aluminum air battery, we use aluminum foil and char- activated charcoal. Here, when tish- when what salt solution is added to to this battery is added into this battery, we see that ions are formed and a potential difference is created. Ions from charcoal are, due to the potential difference, transfer and flow to the aluminium due to which current flows. And this is how ele- uh, electric current flows. So now I'm going to show you with the help of a multimeter the amount of potential difference created. So I am inserting the positive terminal of the multimeter in the carbon. That is the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of the multimeter to the aluminum, the negative terminal of the battery. So as you can see in this multimeter, we can clearly see 0.7 volts getting generated. Thank you. Thank you.